Welcome to a frequency channeling connecting in to frequencies of self, cleansing, empowerment, clearing, activation that I felt like just pressing record on after a really beautiful session with a client and just sharing some of this love, magic, energy, frequency, activation with anyone today who is looking for a pick-me-up, a clearing. And they've shown me a new technique of running and channeling energy around the outside of the toroidal field and kind of burning away in this golden fire and then running it through the inside lining of the toroidal cylinder in a two-part process of clearing releasing dissolving and also activating simultaneously as a frequency so just connecting into your auric field now and and it's just a release of past versions of self that feel decay that feel disconnection that feel judgment that feel shame about themselves and I'm just going to call on the highest frequency of God source light all galactic coatings of the very purest energy frequency so we're going to start running that light and it's just picking off things from the outskirts of the energy field and And they're saying clearing energies of comparison, jealousy, self shame that is accrued by the comparison frequency of you to another. They're saying there's room for everyone on this planet to exude and exhibit, to shine forth their unique fibers, that the structure and makeup that you are across all time and space of your soul could not possibly be compared in any way to another so if you feel a sense of shame about yourself in comparison to anyone about their looks about their gifts about their wealth about their status about like literally anything it's time to release that because that really just does a disservice to you being the fullness of yourself. And they're saying there are parts of yourself that might need to spend that time developing to getting in touch with yourself, to getting in touch with who you are and what restrictions are taking up space in the vault, in the bank of your beingness. So calling on codes of self, liberation, freedom, and running this down the central energy channel point of the toroidal field in the middle lining.
chukuya tara serga tara ke serga tara kare kore kare serga tara kare 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 serga tara kare 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 and I'm just playing seeing codes of purification in the throat and opening up the channel and the viability to express safely, to emote safely, to channel safely, to bring your light language safely, to tell your family who you are safely, um, to allow yourself to be full in your own quiet solitude moments, fully yourself safely. Kuaraya They're also saying, many of you are saying, like, I cannot, like, I can't do that as well as, or I cannot do that singing or, 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 or whatever, right? There's something that they're saying people are unconsciously having as a, as a response to things in the throat. And they're just wanting to use this light to dissolve any imprints of I cannot and, and step into a space of curiosity. How could I be better at if this is my preference or enjoyment? How could I allow myself to see that I can? They're saying because you very much can, because you quite literally have and do on different realms. And as you're accruing to your multidimensional selves, it's much easier of a perspective to take, to harmonize to the part of you that literally has always channel information, commune with God, spoken to angels, being a healer, right? The restrictive human thinking kind of has to fade into the background for a moment. So let's just... Just making space for yourself in your energy field now. Making space for yourself to be exactly who you are and be okay with any perceived shortcomings, not in the light of judgment, in the acceptance of this is your path this is your progression and also in the unanimous awareness that on some level you are like completely activated like you're so harmonically aligned to your fullness that you gave yourself the chance to come to earth to pretend to not be that does this make sense now is time to shoot for the stars and to reclaim, to call upon, to embody the infinite power, expression, potential, um, accrual of your of your gifts and power. If you catch yourself playing small, it is the time to grab that feeling, thought, bubble, orb in your hands and say, hey, <laughs> I see you, no more, and literally be done with it, disperse of it out of your frequency again and again and again, just like you would pick up things that drop on the floor in your kitchen and you would put them in the bin. You don't leave them there, they're saying. You deal with them. You put them in the bin and you take the trash out.
So I'm just wrapping up your field. Just a little bit more space being made. And just imprinting the remembrance like of how <laughs> like uniquely different, special, outrageously, I don't know, the only word is unique. They're just showing me these codes and only these ones make up you. So don't look outside of you to be anything because it's wasting what you are. So sealing you up in this light, in this remembrance. And taking time for the next few moments to reflect on where in your life could you see yourself more clearly and take heed and pride and preference for just you. If you need any help at all clearing accessing your gifts helping you on the path feel free to book in with me for one-on-one -on -one or keep utilizing your meditation space intention channeling energy running light intention is really the most powerful thing right now and asking for more because you deserve more and you can have more until next time <laughs>